Hi, I'm Goro Nele Dasi, and I'm going to be going through a class with you today. So we're going to be doing some heart opening poses. But first we'll start lying down, just to bring your awareness toward, to your body. So lie down on your back. Bend your knees, so your feet, your knees and your hips are in line, and your arms are by your side, palms face the ceiling. Tuck your chin in toward your chest so that you're getting the length in the back of your neck. And just take a slow and deep breath in and as you breathe out, just letting go, letting your body relax. All those bones of your body, the 206 bones. Just feel those bones getting heavier and heavier. So with your knees bent, it's easier to release and relax your lower back. But if you wish, you can extend your legs. So just doing what's comfortable for you. So breathing in through the nose. And as you breathe out, you breathe out through the mouth and just let out a sigh. So breathing in through the nose. And exhale with a sigh. And just feel those bones getting heavier and heavier. All the bones in your feet, your toes, your legs, the bones in your hands and fingers, your arms, the bones of your spine from the base of the spine all the way to the base of the skull. When you get to your neck, you tuck your chin in slightly again and then relax the heaviest bone in your body, your skull but feel it as light as a balloon, as if it's floating at the top of your spine. Breathing in through the nose and breathing out with a sigh. Breathing in and out with a sigh. And just one more, breathing in and exhale. Bring your breath back to its normal pattern. And just release the joints between those bones, the joints in your toes, your ankles, your knees, and your hip joints. The joints in your fingers, your wrists, your elbows, and your shoulder joints. And the joint in your jaw. And then taking a slow and deep breath in. And then as you breathe out, feel all those muscles softening as they relax away from the bones and the joints. Those muscles in your feet, your calf muscles and all the muscles in your thighs. Those muscles covering your pelvis, the buttock muscles, the abdominal muscles, and those deeper muscles resting inside of your pelvis. Relax those muscles on either side of your spine, the erector spina. Those muscles help to keep you upright when you're standing or sitting. But as you lie down now, you can release and relax those muscles. The muscles covering your hands and fingers, the arms. The palms are soft, the fingers gently curled. And relax those muscles covering your skull, your scalp, and the muscles covering your face. Smooth out any creases, especially between the eyebrows and the forehead. Relax your cheeks, your jaw, the tongue in your jaw. And then feel your eyes dropping deeper and deeper to rest in their sockets. And just skimming through your body to see or feel if you're holding tension in any part of your body and just take a slow and deep breath into that area and as you breathe out just letting it go 
letting those areas of your body soften and relax. Bring your awareness back to your breath, breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling out through the nose. Now just watching the breath, don't judge your breath, don't change your breath. And just feel your body sinking deeper and deeper to rest on your mat. When you're doing these poses or the asanas, Listen to your body. Don't do anything that hurts. Asana means comfortable pose. So always doing something that's comfortable for your body. Now we're going to bring our hands onto our abdomen. And we're going to breathe into the abdomen, breathing in and feel how the abdomen rises and falls. So this is breathing, taking a deeper breath all the way into the lower lungs. And as you breathe out, just relax. Feel how the belly drops down toward your back. Breathing into the lower lungs. And breathing out. Now we're going to breathe into the middle lung, so you cross your arms and bring your hands on either side of your rib cage, and breathe into the middle lungs, breathing in. Feel how the ribs expand and those muscles between the ribs gently stretch. And as you breathe out, just relax the rib cage and those muscles. And just doing two more, breathing in and out. And then once more, breathing in and out and then moving your fingertips to touch your collarbones this is breathing into the upper lungs so just breathing this is a short and shallow breath that we mostly do during the day so breathing in and out and just feel the rise and fall of the collarbones Now we're going to add this three together. So you bring your one hand onto your belly and you breathe into the belly. Continue that breath into the ribs and feel the ribs expand. Continue that breath and breathe into the upper lungs and exhale in the reverse from the top of the lungs to the middle lungs to the lower lungs and gently draw your navel in toward your spine. And then inhaling into the lower, the middle, and the upper lungs and exhaling in the reverse like you're pouring water out of a glass from the top of the lungs to the middle lungs to the lower lungs and gently draw the navel in toward the spine to get rid of all the stale air in the body and just doing two more inhaling and exhaling and the last one breathing into the lower the middle and the upper lungs and exhale in the reverse. Bring your arms by your side, palms face the ceiling. Tuck your chin in towards your chest again and just releasing tension in the neck and the shoulders very, very slowly move your head from side to side. So the slower you move your head, the better. Your head is the heaviest part of your body the heaviest part of your skeleton and those muscles that keep your head balanced at the top of your spine work hard to keep the head balanced. So now you can relax those muscles by slowly moving your head from side to side. The slower you move your head, the more sensations you might become aware of. Don't twist your head further over to the side than is necessary. There's no force. You're just working with the movement that you have in your neck with no force or strain. 
The next time you move your head over to the right, slowly rest the head over to the right with no force and just taking a slow and deep breath. And as you breathe out, just let out a sigh and your head might drop closer toward the, ma the mat and you might feel a little bit more of a stretch in the left side of your neck. And another deep breath here. And relax. And then very slowly bringing your head back to the center. Tuck the chin in slightly again. Deep breath in. And exhale, move the head to the left slowly and not forcing it any further over to the side and then another slow and deep breath in and letting out a sigh and then exhale completely and as you inhale very slowly bring the head back to the center tuck your chin in toward your chest and just bring the knees to your chest hug the knees Feel the stretch in the thighs, the buttocks and the lower back. Tuck your chin in toward your chest. And then bring your hands onto your knees and just circle the knees. Making small circles first so that you feel that massage, a gentle massage on the lower back, the sacrum area. And gradually make the circles bigger so you're going further out to the sides with your knees. The knees go further away from you and they come in closer toward your body. Always try to keep the chin tucked in slightly so that you keep the back of your neck long. And just check that you're not wearing anything, a hair tie or anything, especially when you lie down on your back. And then bring the knees back to the center and reverse the direction of the circles. And gradually make the circles bigger and bigger. And then bring the knees back to the center. Hand on each knee, separate the knees, not too wide apart. We're going to work the ball of the thigh bone into the hip socket. So you're going to make small circles and try to keep your pelvis as still as possible and just making circles with your knees. So we're moving the ball in the hip socket. And this is where we need to get the movement. Knees go out to the side, away from you together and then in towards you. Out to the side, away from you together and in towards you. And then come back to the center and reverse the direction of the circle. So the knees go away from you, out to the sides, in toward the body and together. Away from you, out to the sides, toward the body and together. One more. Place your feet down on the mat. We're going to do a bridge with the arms and I'll show you. You press down into the feet as you inhale and you raise the arms up alongside your head as you lift your pelvis, your lower back and the middle back up off the floor. Your arms relax down, hands behind your head. Exhale and then as you inhale, lower your back and you bring your arms down at the same time. So we'll do this together. Exhale completely and then inhale, press into the feet, raise the hips. Bring the arms alongside your head. Open up through the front of your hips and thighs. Tuck the chin in toward your chest. Exhale completely and then as you inhale, slowly lower the spine, raise the arms alongside your body and bring the palms down. Inhale, lifting. Exhale and then inhale and slowly place your spine down the lower back the pelvis the arms and the hands once more inhale exhale and now if you can you work your feet a little bit closer toward your buttocks only if you can and then once more exhale completely and then inhale Lift the body and lift your arms, arms alongside your head, palms face the ceiling. And just stay here for a 
breath or two, or as long as you feel comfortable. With each inhale, press your feet down into the mat. See if you can lift your hips a little bit higher, opening up through the front of your hips and thighs. Exhale completely and then inhale slowly lower your spine and see if you can place one vertebra down at a time from the top of your spine to the middle spine to the lower back and then your pelvis. Raise your arms and then bring your knees to your chest and then once again just circle the knees just massaging those muscles in the lower back and buttock area. Reverse the direction of the circles. And then bring the knees back to the center. Arms are by your side, palms face the ceiling. Just moving from the waist down. Keep your inner thighs active, knees together, ankles together. And you're just gently trying to twist from the waist down. So try to keep your shoulders and arms as relaxed as possible. Trying not to get the shoulder girdle moving with the pelvic girdle so it's not if you're going to go further over and that left shoulder is lifting then you know that you're moving your shoulder girdle so it's just to try and get more flexibility in the waist area this is where we meant to twist from from the waist down keeping the inner thighs active and the next time you move over to the right see if you can hold that position and breathing to the left side of your ribs. So breathing in and exhaling, letting that left shoulder and arm relax. And once more, breathe in and exhale. You might notice that your knees may drop a little bit further. That's not, you don't have to exhale, in, activate the inner thighs and then back to the center, inhaling. Deep breath in and exhale, relax the shoulders and arms and slowly move the knees over to the left, keeping that right shoulder and arm as relaxed as possible. Inhale, feel the ribs expand on that right side and exhale. Keep that right shoulder blade resting on your mat, your arms are relaxed. Another deep breath in and exhale. And then activate the inner thighs and bring the knees back to the center. Bring the feet down on the floor, hip width apart. Arms on either side of your body again. If you can this time, see if you can bring your feet a little bit closer toward your buttocks. You don't have to, only if you feel you can. Your palms are down, exhale completely, and then inhale, press down into your feet, and slowly let the pelvis lift up off the mat, the lower back, the middle back. Press down into your palms and your arms, and work your shoulder blades closer toward each other. Press into the palms and the feet now to open up through the front of your body, the front of your thighs, front of your chest, your shoulder blades. Tuck the chin in. Exhale completely, separate the shoulder blades and slowly place your spine down on your mat, one vertebra at a time. Feel how you you might notice the stretch in the front of the thighs, the slower you go to try and place your spine down on the mat. And then again, hug the knees and just circle the knees. And in the opposite direction. Bring your hands behind your knees. We're going to kick the feet back behind the head and roll up. And then roll back down and roll up. And once more. This time, see if you can come and balance on the sitting bones. So when you roll up, see if you can balance. Hmm. Bring your abdomen and your thighs to touch. Flex your feet and see if you can bring your ankles in line with your knees. Work the shoulder blades toward each other just to open up through the front of your chest. See if you can separate your toes. Release your hands and palms facing each other. And smile. You're working those thighs, you're working the core muscles, and you're balancing. And then roll back and forth again, just massaging those muscles. And the next time you roll up, come up and balance again. Ankles and knees in line. 
If you wish to go further, you can straighten the legs, but do what is comfortable for you. Every day our body is different. Arms, palms facing each other. And then release and roll. Now we're going to roll up and come up onto our hands and knees. Knees are beneath the hips, your wrists are beneath the sh just below the shoulder joints. And we're going to do the cat and the cow. This is really good to create more flexibility in the spine. So we inhale, lift the tailbone, curve the lower back, stretch the chest and the chin forward. And exhale, tuck your tailbone, round your back, push up between the shoulder blades. Inhale. And exhale. So doing this in your own rhythm, with your breath, being slow and aware of how you're moving. You're getting more movement between each disc, more blood supply to those parts in the back of the body. You're drawing the navel in toward the spine as you'd come into the cat. Just one more exhale. Inhale, lift the tailbone, curve the lower back. And then tuck the toes under, push back and pull those little toes out and come and sit on the pads of your feet. See if you can slide. So this is quite strong if you haven't done this before. So just come up and massage the toes. And then you can tuck them under again. It's really good because we neglect our feet. Inhaling and exhaling. And then coming up to balance on the pads of your feet. Separate the feet a little bit wider apart to come into a squat so your knees are wider, wider apart. And then bring your hands down, feet pointing in the same direction as your hands, and then just hanging, feeling the stretch in the hamstrings. Can keep the knees bent so that your abdomen and your thighs are touching, your head hangs, your arms are hanging, just like a rag doll. Exhale completely and then as you inhale, you're going to slowly uncurl. Your head is the last to come up. Relax the shoulders down away from the ears. Okay, now coming to the middle of your mat and step your feet so that they hip width apart. Lift and spread the toes. And as you lift and spread the toes, just notice how you activate your calf muscles, your kneecaps lift. You might even notice a little movement in the core. And then relax your toes. We're going to raise the arms out to the side. We're just going to do some heart opening stretches. So inhaling. And as you exhale, move the arms back toward each other. Feel your shoulder blades getting closer and closer. Inhale and then exhale. Bring the hands forward and round your back and stretch your hands forward. Feel the stretch in the upper back and then inhale again. Opening up through the heart. Exhale. Inhaling and exhale. Inhale. And then see if you can look up, but just be careful. Just do what is comfortable for you. And then exhale. Bring the arms down by your side. Coming back with your feet hip width apart. Inhale, raise the arms up alongside your head. Touch the palms together. If you can't look up, just keep looking forward or down. Just be comfortable. So inhaling, raise the arms. 
and exhale, bring the hands down in prayer position in front of the chest, follow your hands all the way down, inhale, arms out to the side and up, and exhale down, inhale, arms out to the side and up, and exhale down. Keep your hands in prayer position. We're going in the opposite direction now. So inhale, raise the arms. Exhale, down. Inhale, arms together. Inhaling, lengthening. And exhale, down. Inhale. And exhale, down. And one more. Inhaling. And exhale, arms out to the side and down. Lift the shoulders up toward the ears and then let them drop down away from the ears. Once more, inhale, lift the shoulders and drop them down. And then lift them up toward the ears and roll them back, down, forward and up toward the ears and drop them down. And once more, lift the shoulders up, slide them back down, forward, and up, and relax them down. So coming onto your hand, your knees, your hands are on your hips, you slide the foot forward. So you slide the knee forward first to slide the foot forward so that you don't move your pelvis. Slide the foot forward. So we'll step the right foot forward. Slide the knee forward first and then step the foot forward. Wriggle the foot a little bit further forward. Checking that your ankle is beneath your knee. Inhale and as you exhale, move the knee forward but keep your shoulders and hips in line. Then inhale, raise the arms forward and up alongside your head. Lift and lengthen and exhale. Lunge, you feel the stretch in the front of your left thigh. Feel the opening in the armpits, the sides of your torso are lengthening. And then release. Bring your hands down on either side of that foot. Tuck the back toes under. And you, all you have to do is you're trying to straighten the leg. You're not lifting your hips or your pelvis. You're pushing that left heel back to straighten the back leg. Stay in this position if that's more comfortable for you. If you have blocks, you can rest your hand on blocks. If you wish to go further, you push yourself up, reach your arms forward and up, push that back heel away, and then inhale, bring the arms back behind you, interlock the fingers, work your shoulder blades toward each other, and slowly lift your hands up and away from your back. Exhale completely, inhale, reach the hands up, Exhale, hands down, drop that back knee and come back into this lunge and then step that right foot back. Lower the knee and we'll do this on the other side. Hands on your hips, slide the left knee forward. So slide the left knee forward, step the foot forward, wriggle it a little bit further forward. Breathe in and as you exhale, the knee moves forward and checking that your ankle is below the knee. Inhale, and as you exhale, reach your hands up alongside your head. Another thing is if you have knee problems, I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you, you just fold the mat or you come onto a cushion. So inhaling and exhaling. And bring the arms down alongside your body, interlock the fingers. And usually we interlock the fingers one way, but see if you can interlock them in the other direction. Inhaling and exhale slowly. See if you can move the hands away, work your shoulder blades toward each other. Exhale completely and then inhale. Raise your arms up alongside your head and then exhale. Hands down on either side of your foot. And then you're going to slide that foot back knee down. Knees wide apart, big toes touching and then you're going to work through the joints in your hips, stretch forward and just relax. So you can rest in this position 
or you can rest your head on your fist, especially if you have heart problems. And if you're fine, you can reach forward, rest your forehead on the mat. And you're trying to keep your spine lengthened and you'll feel the work in your hips. So stay here for a few breaths, maybe three slow and deep breaths. Slowly come up onto your hands and knees. So your shoulders and wrists and, and elbows are in line. And we're just going to come and straighten the right leg, flex that foot so that you feel the stretch in the back of that calf, your foot. And then drop that knee down and flex the left toes and push the left heel away. And then if you can, you lift, you straighten the right leg as well. Now check that your elbows, wrists are in line, work your inner thighs toward each other and coming into a plank on your forearms. Inhale and exhale. Work those inner thighs toward each other. Then slowly lower your pelvis, your thighs, your knees and the top of your feet and come into the sphinx. Press your palms down, inhale. And as you exhale, you slide your elbows. They're not really moving, but it's like a movement that helps to stretch and open through the front of your chest and works the lower back. Breathe in and out. Your chin is parallel with the mat, so just like a sphinx. If you've been to Egypt, you might have seen one or a few. And then exhale and lower your chest. Bring one hand above the other. Rest the back, your head on the back of your hands. Breathe slowly and deeply all the way down into your belly. And as you breathe out, just relax, relax your shoulders, your arms. Lift your head, bring your arms on either side of your body, fire it on the mat or on a block, whichever is more comfortable for you. Exhale completely and then inhale, you slide your nose forward and you lift your head. Exhale, now your pelvis is the grounding pose, the position. And then inhale, slowly lift your chest higher if you can. And then if you can, you lift it high and you lift your arms, palms facing each other, shoulder blades walk it, working toward each other. Exhale completely. And with each inhale, you see if you can lift higher. One more. And then exhale down. Turn your head to one side. Just wriggle your hips if you feel you have any tension in your lower back or buttocks. And then bring your forehead back onto the mat. Inhale and exhale completely. And then slide your nose forward and raise your head. Exhale and then inhale. Lift the chest, lift your arms, arms facing each other. Inhale. Once more, inhale. Shoulder blades toward each other, and then release and lower. Deep breath in. Wriggle your hips if you need to. And bring your hands on either side of your chest, a little bit higher toward your shoulders. Exhale completely. Now you're going to squeeze the elbows in toward the ribs. Inhale, slide the nose forward and lift the head. Exhale, press the palms down into the mat and slowly lift, but don't let your elbows splay out to the side. Keep them as if they glue to your ribs. Inhale. And slowly lift your hips up off the floor. 
and then push your hips back onto your heels and just rest in the pose of the child. Arms are by your sides, palms face the ceiling. Release through your shoulders. And then take the breath into your upper back, the middle back and the lower back. And exhale, just relax. Exhale completely and then inhale slowly and curl. Your head is the last to come up. You're sitting in the hero pose. If that's too strong, you can place a cushion behind your knees. Or you can tuck your toes. Just m make sure that you're comfortable, especially if you have knee problems. Inhaling, lift and lengthen the spine. And exhale, relax the shoulders. Inhale, now press into your shins to come up onto your knees. Tuck the toes. Sit back on your heels. And just noticing if this is much easier now than when you started. And then coming back onto your hands and knees. Tuck your toes under. Lift the knees and bring your abdomen and your thighs to touch. Keep the heels lifted, your thighs and abdomen touching. And then if you can, keep the thighs together and slowly lower the heels. Coming into an easy down dog. If you can, you can straighten the legs, but try and keep that length in your spine. And then lift the heels and the knees and bring the thighs and the abdomen to touch. And exhale, slowly try to lower the heels. The aim is not to get the heels down, it's just to get that stretch in your hamstrings, your calves, work the ankle joints. And then release. Knees apart, big toes touching. Work your hips toward your heels and reaching forward to come into a wide-legged um, pose of the child. Exhale completely and slowly pushing yourself up. Knees together. Just sitting quiet for a moment, bring your breath back to its normal pattern, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Let your shoulders relax, bring the back of your hands onto your thighs, palms facing the sky. And now we'll just do a lying down on your back, your feet up towards the ceiling or the sky, wherever you are. Arms by your sides, palm faces the ceiling. Tuck the chin in. This is just to get more blood flow. If you have a cushion, you can place that underneath your hips. If you can, you can have your hands on either side of your hips and push your hips up and support your hips with your hands if that's comfortable for you. But do the easy version. If you can, you can support your hips. Tuck the chin in. Just getting more blood flowing down from the feet toward the head, letting the heart, the heart pumps the blood down to all parts of the body and we rarely do um, get the blood flowing to the head. For those who wish to go further, you can bring your knees to your forehead or your face. For those who can go further, you can bring your feet down behind your head, palms down, arms straight. Exhale completely. And then as you inhale, you slowly lower your spine one vertebra at a time. Mm -hmm. 
Palms face the ceiling, arms move away from your torso. And then you can lower the legs. If you have a bolster or a cushion, you can place that underneath your knees just to support the knees and help to relax them. Otherwise, just extend your legs or the easiest way is to have the knees bent so your lower back can relax. So whichever you feel more comfortable doing, your arms are by your side, palms face the ceiling. Now taking this time to relax the body to assimilate all the benefits of those poses that you've worked on. Taking slow and deep breaths all the way down into the lower lungs, then the middle and the upper lungs, and exhale in the reverse. Tuck the chin in slightly. And then again, bringing your awareness to all the bones of your body, the 206 bones of your body. The bones in your feet, your shins, your knees and your thighs and just feel those bones resting toward your mat. The bones of your pelvis. Try not to force the lower back toward the mat, just relax those muscles in the, in the lower back area the middle back, the upper back, and then separate the shoulder blades so that you can feel those muscles alongside the spine between the shoulder blades. Your arms are heavy, your palms are soft. Fingers are gently curled. And we're going to slow down the breathing. Inhaling for the count of four. Holding for the count of three. And exhaling for the count of five. Inhale for four. This time hold for four. And exhale for the count of six. Inhale for four. Hold for four with no force or strain and exhale for the count of seven. And once more, inhaling for four. Hold for four and exhale for the count of seven. Just feel your body sinking deeper and deeper to rest on your mat. Taking this time now to relax all those bones once more. Feel those bones of your body getting heavier and heavier. Notice if you feel a difference to when you started the class, to what you feel now. All the bones in your legs, your pelvis, your spine. The bones of your rib cage, your shoulder blades, your arms, your hands and fingers, and your skull. Become aware of the joints, the joints in your toes, your ankles, your knees and your hips. And just release those joints. Your feet might flop out to the side. Release the joints in your fingers, your wrists, your elbows and your shoulders and relax the joint in your jaw. To release tension in your neck and your shoulders just very gently and slowly moving your head from side to side. The slower the movement, the more you might notice sensations in the neck area. And then bring your head back to the center. Tuck the chin in towards your chest. Take a slow and deep breath in. And let out a sigh. Just resting for a few moments and just listening to this ancient sacred sound. Goranga. Taking your mind away from the body and the breath. 
and focusing on the mantra Goranga. The body's relaxed. Your breathing is slow and deep. Your mind is calmer and you're listening to this ancient sacred sound. Yoga is a Sanskrit word. And then gently waking up your body, you wriggle your fingers and your toes. Move your head gently from side to side. And then bring your head back to the center, bend your knees and roll over onto your right side. Rest your head on your arm so you keep the rest of your spine and your neck in line. And then when you're ready, ready, slowly push yourself up to come and sit in any easy sitting position. When you relax, your body cools down so you can cover yourself with a blanket or a scarf. This is the most important part of the yoga class, the kirtan or the, this chanting of these ancient sacred mantras. Om Hari Om. Rama Om. Vishnu Padaya. Krishna Prestaya. Bhutale. Shimate Siddha. Swarupananda. Oh. Uh -huh. 
Namaste. Bring your hands in prayer position in front of the chest. Bow the forehead and the fingertips toward each other, bowing to the Supreme Spirit Soul, the Divine, O oh God. Namaste. Thank you very much for joining me.